Hello and welcome, this is the first video of Side Stuff series. Wait a minute! Don't you have a bigger project where you have lots of work to do? I hear you ask. Yes, I do. What you gonna do? Stab me? Well, when you wanna do some big project, you find yourself thinking that's big. Can I handle it? Which happens to me a lot. So I came up with this idea, to do little projects, that will explore some mechanics, game management, etc., which will boost my confidence that I can do something and hopefully I will learn something along the way. Then I will do a video where I will stick out the most interesting parts. Starting easy. Spider Solitaire. That should be quick, only 2D cards. First I downloaded this free package of cards from the Unity store. When I imported a card I found out, that cards have bigger borders than Sprite is. So when I moved the card by one unit it didn't move one card away. Which triggered me a little. To get the border away, you need to slice Sprite in Sprite Editor. No problem there. But. That can't be. Nah. Really? Yes you can not edit info in Sprite Editor for multiple sprites at once. And I have 57 sprites. I am not doing that. There must be some other hack. Oh. Metadata for each sprite is saved in YAML. So I can copy metadata from one slice sprite into unsliced. Using magic. I mean. C Sharp. So I have created simple side app to my side project. Firstly I installed package for YAML serialization and deserialization. After that I generated C hash class from YAML online, so that I have object into which I can deserialize, change stuff and serialized back to metadata file. This worked, but only when there was an already existing sprite, because after that, in metadata was parameter named after number, and that C sharp can't do. And I did not find a way how to specify for YAML serializer and deserializer that parameters 213 is saved in parameters underscore 213. But still, it worked. My sprites were correctly cropped, but I found out that my created sprites are not named. So I got confirmed this could be a useful tool. Already need it. But I still got problem with parameter 213. This can be solved by expando object. Dynamic object whose members can be dynamically added and removed at runtime. Bingo. So deserialize. Change parameters you need to change. And serialize back. Easy peasy. So now I just put card into a scene. Change position by one unit and. Fuck. This doesn't solve anything. I still need to change pixels per unity and import. Great. Well, at least I have them cropped. That must count to something. Let's move on. I split logic into three classes. Game manager, column, and card. Card class will hold information about cards such as card color, value, sprite, card back sprite. If it is flipped or pickable and act accordingly. But most importantly will handle card movement. For mouse detection, I used event on mouse down. This function is called when mouse clicks on collider. This is working quite nicely, but it got one problem. When you have multiple sprites overlapping, it will trigger random one not first visible. This has simple solution, just move cards on Z axis in order in which you need them to be, and when the card is picked change Z to max number of cards to ensure it will be always on top. In Spider Solitaire, you have 10 columns on which you lay cards. So class column will ensure cards are in order, check if you can card be dropped on the column, check if the sequence of cards is complete, and so on. Game Manager will bind it all together. Generate columns, generate cards, shuffle them, and deal them into columns. Also, sort dropped card into column. Generating cards wasn't a problem. But how to shuffle? I mean list of cards? Knuth shuffle it runs in on time, which means it will run as many times as list is long, and shuffles in place so it's better performing. It starts at the end, gets random position with which item will switch, and move to next card until it reaches third card. Then list is shuffled. So workflow is like this. When you click on card and drag, card asks itself if it can be picked, if yes it will follow mouse around, and like a good mother, it will take all her children. When the mouse is released it will call game manager. Hey, what should I do? Game manager will compare card's current position and choose corresponding column, then ask that column. Hey you, can this card be dropped on you? It can, respond column with ease. Game manager will send message to old column. This card doesn't belong to you and column will scratch it from list. Then message to the new column is sent. This shit is yours now. Good luck and check everything. It is far from complete game. But otherwise, it is working. 
I learned a thing or two and it was fun. So side project was successful. Code on GitHub, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.